Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I consider the best kept secret in Sonar. The Event Inspector Toolbar. And there it is. I'll just drag it up into the bottom here so you can see it. Um, this toolbar is a secret, kind of, because it's not turned on by default. And a lot of people don't know it's there. But it's uh, pretty powerful, and you should turn it on, because I say so. Um, so what does it do? Uh, well, first of all, this toolbar used to be part of the main piano roll view window. Um, it used to work on events in the piano roll view only, uh, and it was also quite a bit more limited than it is now. Uh, a few versions ago, it was moved to the main set of toolbars, uh, and so now it works on anything, any kind of event in the app. It works on MIDI events, notes, controllers, whatever. It also works on audio clips, so it's pretty powerful now. Uh, so what does it do? Well, if you click on a note and select it, um, notice it's showing the note properties of that note. Uh, if I click on a different one, I'm seeing different properties. Um, so, you know, and I can go in here and I can edit any of these things to change anything I want about the note. Uh, so far, that's pretty much the same information that I had in this dialog. Uh, remember this thing? Um, but the big difference is that this dialog is modal. You have to do everything and then click OK to get your change, where this thing is um, always up in front of you. You don't have to bring it up and then dismiss it. It's just always there. But where the event inspector is really cool, in my opinion, is that I can multi-select uh, events. And when I do that, you'll see that I don't see an absolute value for the velocity here because they're all different. It doesn't know what to show me. So it's showing me just a plus zero. Uh, what I can do with that, though, is I can type in a number. I could type in 65, and it would make all of those notes go to a velocity of 65. I don't want to do that. Um, what I can do that's even more interesting, though, is I can do um, use the plus and minus keys to do some math here. So I can type in plus uh, 15, and they all went up by 15. Um, you know, I can do minus as well, and that's really no different than from what I was doing in the in the uh, draw tool here by dragging, because that just adds and subtracts uh, the same amount to all the notes. So that's really no different, except I'm able to do it numerically here, which I think is pretty neat. Um, but what's even cooler about this is that you can do uh, multiplication. So I can do, for example, 50%. And when I do that, all those velocities went down. Uh, they were scaled to 50% of what they were. Um, this opens up a really interesting technique of doing uh, velocity compression, uh, just like a real hardware compressor for audio would compress a dynamic range. I've just compressed the dynamic range of all those velocities there. And um, also, just like a real compressor, you have to have makeup gain to make up for that uh, gain reduction. So what I can do now is use the plus, and I can say uh, plus 64 to make up for it. And so if I undo twice, you can see what those notes were. I'll click them so they turn red. That's the range of note uh, velocities that they were. And if I redo twice, that's what they are now. Before, after. I think that's pretty neat. And I do that all the time on drums. So now just for another little view of this, um, this will, of course, also work on other types of instruments. Um, you know, we did drums, uh, now here's a piano, more of a melodic instrument. Uh, you know, the piano, unlike drums, uh, I'm also interested in the duration, so I can do things with that. So I could multi-select a bunch of these piano notes, and I could type 200% uh, for the duration and double all their lengths. That's pretty neat, I think. Uh, and of course, you know, you can do the same kinds of um, velocity mathematics here. I can do 60% um, uh, on those um, and whatever I want to do. Add, subtract, do a percentage, uh, anything you want to do. So it's pretty neat. And likewise, the mouse tools do the same kinds of actions too on multiple selection. So that's some of what you can do on a piano. Okay, so I should probably show you what that uh, interpolate thing looks like. Um, look at that thing. Um, it's pretty powerful. It's also quite daunting. Um, I don't use it so much, um, in fact, ever. <laughs> 
So that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's get that out of here. And so ends another fine episode of So You Wanna Be a Sonar Guy. 